Hello YouTube, wanted to make this video saying thank you so much for 200 subscribers. Um, it's a big number for me personally because I started this channel and had just had a couple subscribers and uh, for those of you who know I kind of started this channel just for fun um, because I was losing some space on my phone. So I just wanted to say thank you for all 200 of you for watching my content. Um, I'm going to do a video on uh, the, all the trombones I play so a little gear video for you um, so I'm just gonna kind of jump right into it I have three trombones that I use on the gig on a weekly basis I would say um, it is my small bore tenor trombone my large bore F attachment and my bass trombone those are the three trombones that I use all the time um, and most of the questions that I get um, on this channel are regarding what horn I'm playing, uh, what mouthpiece I'm using. So all of the horns uh, I'm going to show you in this video are the horns that I use out on the job for the most part. So I'm going to start with this. This is um, an Olds Ambassador from 1952. Um, I'm playing on a Vincent Bach gold-plated 5G mouthpiece. Um, and some people are asking about the leather grips. Um, just type in trombone leather grip. There's a website called Hickey's Music Center. I'll put a link down in the description. And this is a Protec leather neck guard. Um, I'll also put a link down in the description if you'd like to purchase that. So this is a small bore. Um, so it definitely cuts really well for my commercial music and for my jazz playing. Um, I really like this horn. I got this horn um, from a trombone friend of mine who uh, was very old and he passed away and he wanted to uh, he wanted his horns to go to a good cause. So his family gave them to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna play a little bit on this so you can hear what it sounds like. So there's my old ambassador. Um, if you have any more questions on this one, leave them in the comments. Um, my next horn is my large bore F attachment. Um, I don't use this one as much. I'm usually either on bass trombone or my small bore tenor, but I do use this a lot for church gigs um, and orchestral stuff. So as you can see, it, the bell is larger than the small bore for anyone else who plays trombone. This is a 025 um, Olds and Son. This is probably from the 1950s. And this one was made in California. Also to note, this, um, this bell section was made in Los Angeles. I also have another bell section on my small bore that was made in Fullerton, uh, which isn't far from me. But I like the Los Angeles one uh, better. Gives a, it's a little more, um, has more of a vibrant sound, I would say. So um, there are two mouthpieces that I use with this. I have a normal Vincent Bach 5G here, um, which I usually don't use. I accidentally put this one on here. I usually play on a gold-plated 5G Megatone uh, Vincent Bach mouthpiece for this horn. Um, but sometimes if I'm playing first trombone on this, I will use this mouthpiece um, instead. So this is an F attachment. So if I push this down, I have that C in a, a flat first position. Um, but I'm going to kind of play uh, a little bit on this so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
back attachment. Um, this also has a leather grip on it. And this is a pencil holder that clips onto my bell. I got this from a trombone friend of mine, so I'm not sure where to get these online. And last but not least, my personal favorite, uh, my bass trombone. Um, another note about that horn, I got that horn from the same trombone friend that passed away um, from his family. So it was a really generous donation. I feel totally blessed to have uh, those horns uh, that were donated to me. Uh, but anyways, this is my bass trombone. I recently bought this. This is a Holton TR-180. Um, this has been my dream horn ever since I started uh, playing bass trombone in high school. This is the uh, same bass trombone that not only my grandfather plays on, but my uncle has one of these as well. And uh, ever since I've been playing, I would always pick up one of these and just admired the, the sound and the feedback I got from it. Um, so it's kind of uh, really special to me, this horn is. It's, it's been my dream horn, um, and I can die happy with this thing. Um, so I'm just going to play a couple notes on this thing so you can hear what it sounds like. But uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a 10 inch bell with dependent uh, triggers. So I don't have a G flat in first position. Uh, I push the first valve, it gives me an F and then a D and then an open B flat, just like any other bass trombone. Um, Larry Minnick uh, did the valve work himself on this. This was a guy um, back in the day and now who was a trombone legend out uh, with his handiwork. He's a real craftsman. So he made this uh, trigger system sound just absolutely absolutely amazing um the leather grip hickey's music center um pencil holder got from a friend so i'm not sure exactly where to get those um but i i have gotten uh a decent amount of comments on what this thing is that is attached to my lead pipe let me try to get it off here this is called a burp it's a really strange device that has really benefited me um with my buzzing um i am a fan of mouthpiece buzzing so um what the burp does is give you the feedback of buzzing as if you it, it kind of feels like you're playing the horn in a weird way um and it gives the back pressure of playing the horn so i'm gonna kind of demonstrate it here so if i play a b flat and I buzz it without the burp it feels a lot different when I put it on the burp and I put the slide in first position and I buzz a B flat it almost gives me the sensation as if I was playing but I'm actually buzzing so it it's a tool that's uh, just a cool tool that I've used to help me so I can actually uh, buzz a scale and move the slide at the same time so really great tool um so yeah this is my bass trombone holton tr180 uh, if you have any more questions on um on the gear that i play uh please let me know uh let me know what horns you guys are playing nowadays too i always like uh trying new stuff too but um i'm pretty satisfied with my gear setup for the time being uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions or comments, please let me know. And thanks for watching and subscribing to 100 subscribers. Woohoo. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.